Hey, what's going on, everybody? Good morning, and welcome to day two, and thanks for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. Today is uh, a C day, and um, I don't really have anything scheduled today except a tour of their brewery. So if you've never been on Carnival, Carnival has their own beers, uh, Thirsty Frog. Um, I believe that's what it is. I, I drink the Thirsty Frog Caribbean Wheat. That's the one I do. I think that's their brand. Um, or Red Frog, something like that. But anyway, they have a brewery on ship, and so I scheduled a tour for it, and I'm gonna do that today at around 2.30, and today is Sunday, which means, can you see it? It's game day, even though the Panthers suck this year. Uh, today they're playing at one o'clock, so I'm gonna go try to find a TV, and they're playing Tampa, so that's the probably the saving grace why they're gonna play it on the ship. Um, it's the final game of the season, means nothing to the Panthers they already had a losing season but I'm gonna go try to watch that first but before all that I had a good friend tell me about brunch on sea days which I never knew they had brunch on sea days so I'm actually getting ready to go out the door to go to the brunch um, you have to check in on your app so you don't really schedule a time I guess it's my first time so I'm trying to figure it out so before that I've always wanted to go for a run on a ship um, I don't know why, it's just it's just one of those things, right? Ships have a running track. I thought it'd be cool to run in the ocean. And so I got up this morning, and one of the perks, of obviously, of not drinking, I'm finding, is I'm not hungover in the morning. So I got up this morning, went for a run, a couple miles, just to say I did, and then came back, you know, got ready, and like I said, now I'm getting ready to head out and go see, or go eat brunch, and then just see what the day has going on. They got trivia going on throughout the day. They have a couple... Uh, you know, like shopping shows to talk about what's going on, going to happen in Cozumel, because tomorrow we're going to be in Cozumel. Um, what else? They got live music tonight, but just kind of a chill day. It's a sea day, so without further ado, let's get the day started. Bar's not open yet, but they still got the tree up, so I like that. Just trying to figure out where my restaurant is. You go ahead and get some coffee. Just like a barista, right? out here waiting on my brunch I've never seen that before uh, carnival having coffee stations kind of cool I don't know if it's just because it's a newer ship or what but I like it I like it a lot tables ready <laughs> going to brunch uh, 419 419 okay 419 okay fine okay how are you, sir? I'm fine, how about you, sir? Good. <laughs> so I just finished eating uh, the Sea Day brunch. I ended up getting the chicken and waffles. Um, I wasn't impressed. I think I would rather go to the buffet. Uh, so the meal was, and I'll put a picture up, but the meal was, I got hash browns, it was fried chicken and then a little waffle. Um, I mean, it wasn't bad. Well, it wasn't great. I mean, it was good, I guess, for what it is. But the chicken had a lot of bones in it, uh, which I didn't realize at first. Got a couple of bones in my mouth. And I didn't. I probably didn't eat half the chicken just because I didn't want to deal with the bones. And then the waffles, they got super soggy, like, really quick, which it was weird. I never had waffles get soggy like that. And then, like, the gravy didn't really have any flavor, so can't really mess up hash browns. Hash browns were good. Um, but overall, I think I would rather, it, it was an experience. I've never done it before, so I just wanted to try it out, but I will probably go to the buffet the rest of the trip here. But anyway, now I'm gonna go walk through the shop, see what's going on there, and just kind of hang out. Um, football games at one, so I'll go try to find a bar or a place to go watch the game. And then 2.30 is my brewery tour. So that's kind of what's going on right now. So let's go shopping.
All sorts of perfume. And we got some makeup. All right, so that was deck six. Now I'm going up to deck seven. And, uh, the shop lady said they have uh, more shops on deck seven and doc. Deck seven and deck eight. Oh. One day only. Good morning, how are you? Man, who needs a Stanley Cup when you can get a red carnival tumbler? I really want one of these for my apartment complex because I'm swimming. It's the floating wireless waterproof carnival ship speaker, Bluetooth speaker. I don't know if everybody else would appreciate it though. It looks so cool. So I like this. So the Wave Morning Show, it's where they talk about what's going on for the day. The cruise director will come out which ours is Jackie Tang. He'll come out and uh, you know he'll, he'll go over the overview of what's going on for the day. And I think it's a great idea to have it right here in the center, Grand Central Station. Plenty of seating, people can catch it as they're walking by. Cool little red chair. I wonder how many butts have sat in that to get their picture taken. Now I'm going up to deck eight to see what else they got. This is an even better view to people watch. I like it. Oh, this is a pixel place. It's where you get your pictures taken uh, when you see the photographer set up. And then you come up here and you can buy your pictures. The sushi bar. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> More Disney watches from Citizen.
So I think that's all the shops. Lots of watches. Uh, I never saw Oakleys before on a ship, so that's nice. Um, lots of watches, jewelry, Effie, of course. I never knew what Effie was until I came on a, a Carnival ship. Uh, they got their general store if you need, you know, like seasickness pills and all that stuff, souvenirs. Um, and they're usually only open during uh, international travel or w while the cruise is sailing. That, that's what I should say. They're usually, the shops are usually only open while at sea, while the ship is moving. Just like the casino. Just waiting for the early morning wave show, or the, the wave show. Enjoying my uh, ginger ale. Delicious. Today's uh, sailing is pretty smooth so far. Um, not really a whole lot of big waves or anything like that, so I'm grateful for that because uh, before we left, somebody put in the group that there was supposed to be a couple storms coming and they were expecting uh, rocky, you know, rocky conditions. So, I'm glad it's not. And when I say the group, uh, usually when you go on a cruise, from what i found is somebody will start like a Facebook group page or Facebook page for that particular cruise. And so, if I mention the group, like that's, it's going to be the Facebook page that I somebody started and I joined and that's where everybody like planned meetups and uh, you know past information along. So just hanging out waiting for the the wave morning show. Be swelled, uh, as you can so evidently see. So um, what I need you to do everyone, I need you to pretend like you are the 6,000 guests that we have on board the ship. Can you do that for me everyone? Here's what we do, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna get the, the, the tape rolling, and then once the, the the TV actually starts, and then uh, you know there's a bit of an intro. I'll ask everyone how's everyone doing, and I want you to go wild, loud, and crazy. Hey. Okay. He's the restaurant manager. The guy up there is the restaurant manager. You know, the whole ship just sang him happy birthday. Well, whole ship, everybody that's here in the, the lobby. So this is where I enter to hopefully win a two-day cruise. I gotta sit through this show first, though. Yes, we love it. Fantastic. Well, let's get this started. Is a We're show. actually a couple in real life. This is just so you can get to, to know as a little kids. Jewelry, souvenirs, t-shirts. Because it tells a story of where you've been. Nobody makes memories shopping on Amazon, do they? No. You want to remember who served you that day. You want to remember the weather. You want to remember what you ate. I bet now if you look down at your jewelry. All right. So I just came back and they made my bed and they gave me the little tough stuffed animal. It is an elephant. So cute. Just finished up the uh, sea show and now, hold on, let me turn it around. All right, so I just finished up the sea show. Uh, they talked, well, it's still going. It seems like the fun stuff here, um, you know, it's only like 30 minutes, but you know, like, I don't wanna say boring stuff, but stuff I'm not really interested in. It drags on and on and on, so whatever. But so I did the sea show. They talked about you know shopping in Cozumel, which we're shopping tomorrow. And then now I'm gonna go try to find a TV to watch the football game. Once again, Panthers keep pounding. <laughs> but um, 
They're playing Tampa, so I'm hoping there's going to be a lot of people that want to watch it. So they'll put it on one of the TVs. There is no sports bar on here, though. I haven't found one. Um, so I'm going to go up to Guy Fieri's uh, Pig and Anchor. They had a big, a big like section called the Hero Lounge, you know, with a bunch of military stuff. So um, they had a huge TV up there. Hopefully they play it there. Maybe if I get there early enough, I can get them to turn it on. That's my plan because then I got the brewery tour at 2.30, so I'll already be there. So that's kind of what I'm doing right now. So let's keep going. All right, I got my ducks ready to go. So today is day one of hiding them. So let's commence the hiding. Going back to Guy Fieri's. I noticed as the day goes on, the ship starts getting more crowded. Obviously, people are waking up. But Guy, or not Guy Fieri's, uh, the pig and anchor. Hopefully the game's on. Hopefully I can get a seat. If not, I don't know where else there's really TVs. All right, so here I am to Heroes Lounge. They are, luckily they're playing the Tampa game, the Panthers game. Duck number one is hidden. What a more appropriate place than the Hall of Heroes. Anyway, so I, I checked into the the brewery tour. Uh, they said it's gonna start a little bit after 2:30, so just kind of hanging out. Decided to hide a duck. Let me zoom in. Did a walk by so nobody would see it. I think I was sneaky. What beer is this? This is a peach lager. The peach lager? Beach or peach? Beach. Beach. I thought you said peach. No. We'll do it at the end. Thank you. We'll say I'll say happy birthday to you. Because you're 29. I'll take it. 29. <laughs> so what you think? Tastes like an IPA. It's the beach lager. I've always thought the beer was swill water. What you think? It's cat piss. It ain't swill water. If you're an IPA lover, they are the number one ingredient in beer. But they are in every beer. Pretty much all beers, 99% of beers have hops. They do two things. They give bitterness to the beer. Uh, you know, they also, hops are cool. They are antibacterial pretty much. So, you know, we can, that's how we can add it in mm. to the beer post fermentation. With <laughs> Here is the IPA. It's actually better than the other one. It is. It tastes kind of nutty. I like it. I don't like it. Um, we've been here for 47 years, so I wouldn't leave him, but I would love to go. We just did the, the beer tasting. I don't really like any of it. Um, I don't know, I'm losing my taste for beer, but also, like I said, I'm trying to do like a dry cruise. So I just sampled it. They did the porter, they did the IPA, they did the, the pale ale, and they did uh, one other one, but I'm not a fan of it. The only one I really like is uh, their wheat beer, and they didn't bring the wheat beer out. But right now, we're getting ready to go and do the uh, tour of the breweries. So that's what's next right now. So that's really why I want to do it. I kind of want to see the behind the scenes because that stuff interests me. I knew I wasn't going to like the beer, but whatever. Um, we sat with a, a couple of ladies, you know, and they started talking, and they were none too happy. So I guess it's not as educational as people would assume, but let's go check the brewery out. Now we are walking towards the brewery. There's more time. Oh, that's heavy. All right, this is our uh, cellar room. So, like you see, we have a lot of tank here. 
And this tank is a uh, corn safe. Uh, corn safe. All right, so we got some. We're behind the scenes now. They made beer out of rice, so that's what this is. It tastes like beer. Whatever. It's, it's okay. I mean, it tastes like beer. But it came straight out of the fermenter. I'll show you. So it came out of there. So they gave us special beer. Uh, it's a Christmas beer. Ooh, this is good. They said the last brewer made it. This is really good. It's like, it's sweet almost. It's like cinnamon. Caramel, maybe? Caramel? But it's 12% too, so it's dangerous. Alright, so just finished up the tour. You get a Thirsty Frog Craft Brews souvenir cup and you get a good for one free drink coupon my thoughts on the cruise overall or uh, my thoughts on the tour um it's great if you like to drink the if you like their beer it's great they bring out like we got four pitchers between four of us at the table and so it's basically all you can drink beer you got to go behind the scenes and see the brewing but I thought it was gonna be more like more educational. So if you're expecting that, um, you're not gonna get that. But you do get to taste the beers. They talk about it. Uh, the brewers are really like knowledgeable on the beer. Um, they can talk about it. Well, they talked about it for an hour and a half. You know that they talk about every beer that comes out. They talk about the hops, the water, all that good stuff. If you have any questions, oh, there's a ship out there. Um, so that was cool. And like I said, you get to sample the beers. It's basically all you can drink tour for 30 bucks. And uh, yeah, I'm just not a fan of the beer. Like I, I'm not a fan of their beer. I like their Caribbean wheat, but we didn't get a sample of that. It's only what they have on tap. And on that note, here's the ship I pointed at. You can kind of see it out there, right there. Can I zoom in? There it is, great big ocean, and we run into another ship. Still a good time, I'm on a cruise, I'm not gonna complain about anything. So I'm gonna go get something to eat, cause I watched the Panthers game, so I missed lunch. And that's kinda what I got going on right now. So let's go. Here I am at Big Chicken. This is Shaq's Chicken Place. Thank you. Alright, so I went to Big Chicken, like I said, and I got the, the Big Aristotle, which is monster cheese, crispy fried onions, bacon, sweet and smoky Memphis barbecue sauce, and it's really good. And then as far as like the dipping sauces for the fries, I tried the shack sauce and the barbecue ranch. I feel like the shack sauce is sweet and the barbecue ranch is a little bit spicier, but they're both good. So uh, it's the first time I've ever eaten a big chicken because um, most, of, most of the carnival ships I've been on have not had it, but I enjoy it. I'll definitely be back again. Um, still not Guy Fieri, but they're, they're, it's pretty good chicken. You can get chicken sandwiches and you can get chicken strips. This is kind of like Popeyes. Uh, better than Popeyes though, if you ask me. Gets a thumb up, or two thumbs up, but I got a whole camera of one, so it only gets one. All right, so right now I'm gonna go back to the room, drop my cup off, and then um, I guess try to find a seat to watch the 49ers play. That's the next game that's on. And that's kind of about it. Kind of a low-key day, like I have said. It's the sea day. So, just hanging out. So for dinner tonight, I know it's elegant night, but I'm also watching the football game. So right now the 49ers are on. I am still at, uh, what's it called? Um, hold on. Guy's Pig and Anchor. 
smokehouse. And so I'm just need dinner here. Um, for lunchtime, they have a buffet. Uh, it's get set up behind me. You can get the meats, you can get the sides and all that. At dinner time, they bring out like a piece of paper and you mark what you want. And everything is free except for the ribs and prime time, prime ribs or prime rib. So basically you check what you want, you get the meat, you get a sandwich, you get your sides and then you get a dessert. So um, I know on the website it shows you pay for dinner, but it's actually free unless you get the ribs, the St. Louis ribs or the prime time prime ribs. So just wanna let you guys know. So I got the pick and anchor melt, which is pulled pork, sliced brisket, bacon, smoked gouda, cheddar, pickles and donkey sauce with a side of uh, barbecue beans with the beef, beef brisket trimmings and the Carolina slaw because I'm from Carolina, got to represent, right? <laughs> Tonight's an elegant night. Uh, we have two elegant nights. Uh, it's a seven day cruise, so a little bit longer. Most of my crews only have one. Tonight is the first elegant night. Um, it's also a white hot party. Uh, party up on the Lido deck, whatever, I've never, never been to it. Um, so I figured I'd wear my lighter colored shirt. I don't have like white clothes, like, I just don't. And once again, like I said in my last videos, I'm not gonna dress up, I don't bring a suit or anything like that. Um, about as close you're gonna get is a button up shirt with a collar and some slacks, I guess. But, um, so that's about it. I'm gonna go to a show called M Theory, I believe. Let me check. Uh, yeah, M Theory is the show tonight on the stage. So I'm gonna go watch that, and then after that, try to get in the piano bar. Maybe I don't know. Just kind of walk around, listen to live music. Tomorrow is a port day. We're gonna go to Cozumel, so I don't even want to stay up late, too late tonight, because um, I do want to get off the ship and go walk around, try some local food and all that, but. Yeah, that's what's going on tonight. Um, Elegant Night's always one of my favorite nights because I like to see everybody dressed up. You, you know, you see some crazy outfits and you see the whole gamut from like prom dresses to just, you know, regular sundresses. So let's go ahead and head out to the theater. Witness an experiment in time travel. He's filming me and I'm filming him. Are you ready for a good time? That's what we like to hear. Ladies and gentlemen, that box is going to remain in full view throughout tonight's entire show. What's inside that box is going to remain a mystery, but I promise a little bit later on, we're going to figure out exactly what's inside. That angel right there. All right, audience, on the count of three, what are you going to say? Go! Here we go. One, two, three. Go! Teleportation device. This device is used to teleport something as small as a molecule all the way to the size of a full human being. Do I have any takers tonight? <laughs> Just about all of you. We're gonna start off small though. What we're gonna be looking for right now is something that can fit inside your pocket. All right, getting ready to watch the Punchline or a comedy club. I think it's the girls, so I think it's Valerie. I know once the show starts, they're not gonna let me record, but yeah, it's Valerie Storm is who the comedian is right now. Or in 15 minutes.
So I just got done with watching um, the Celestial Strings explore the Secret Garden. It was a show on the main stage on the Grand Central Station, which this ship has two stages. They got the traditional stage at the end of the ship, where they do you know the typical shows, the the live music, the Broadway style shows, if you will, with music and dancing, and then they have a uh, stage on the center of the ship um, on the sixth floor kind of like the atrium bars on the older ships that's where this stage is and so um, I guess it's just sum up the night I started off the night going to the typical show uh, it was M theory which it was a magic show um, one of the things I said in one of my previous videos is I like the C, uh, MSC seashore seaside I don't remember what ship it was but I liked their show better because it was more visual and so this show was actually a magic show so it, it was pretty cool it wasn't your typical uh singing and dancing it was a magic show and it was a lot of fun um something different i've never seen that on carnival maybe it's only on their longer cruises but i really enjoyed it and then after that i went and saw the comedian um i said her name before but i went and saw valerie storm and so basically typical carnival itinerary they stack all their entertainment up you know, one right after another, or there's two things going on at the same time I want to do. So I saw the M Theory, and then I saw the Comedian, and then immediately afterwards, I went and saw the Celestial Strings, which was another, like, singing, uh, dancing, okay. and they had, um, they had, like, a violin player. That it's a, a three, it was a three-member, like, string band, I guess. I want to say quartet, but there's only three of them. Um, but with the center stage, or the, yeah, center stage, they have like a, a giant screen background. So it was pretty cool the way the songs they chose with the dancing, with the, the scenery, like the garden scenery, statue type stuff. And then with the digital background, it all worked really good. I enjoyed that show. Um, it was a lot of fun. Like it's been a busy night, just going from show to show to show. So taking a moment to catch my breath before I go out to the white hot party. I think that's what I call it, a hot white party. Mm, white hot party. Um, so I'm just taking a moment to catch my breath before I go out to the white hot party on the Lido deck. Like, I haven't even been up to the Lido deck today. I spent most of my time on decks six, seven, and eight. Um, well, I did go for a run this morning, so I was on the Lido deck then, technically. But I haven't really been up here to, like, hang out. I didn't even come up here to eat because I ate it. Pigs and Anchor, or Anchor and Pig, whatever it's called. Um, Anchor and Pig. And so now I'm on the Lido deck waiting for the party to start in about 15 minutes. So that's kind of what's going on after the white hot party. 
after the white hot party i'm gonna call it a night um because it'll be probably about 11 11 30. um oh one thing too is every bar here seems like it has a live musician so they got a brass band they have a guy they got karaoke they got a guy taking requests they got the piano bar like you will find if you like music you will find a bar here that plays something that you like or has a musician that you like so that's pretty cool because i like i like live music so i'm happy just sitting in a bar listening to live music for my entertainment so anyway that's kind of what's going on right now so next time i see you it'll be at the the white hot party <laughs> So that was the White Hot Party. Uh, basically every party here at Carnival, from my experience, is just line dancing. Uh, the cruise director wants to get people um, involved. So always a lot of fun. They always play good music, popular music. You know, the wobble is always my favorite. I'm sorry, it's a uh, ship's a little rocky, so <laughs> I have trouble walking straight down the hallway. But um, yeah, a lot of fun. So it's about 11, 15 right now. So I'm headed to bed and just want to say if you made it as far, hey, I appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. And uh, tomorrow's a new day. We're going to Cozumel. And so I hope you guys have a good night and I will talk to you all later. Bye.